people who think the moon landing was fake never seem to refute the fact we went five more times. I was listening to the radio going to work a few weeks ago and a channel I landed on had a co-host drop that she didn't believe the moon landing was real. The host laughed it off. But she kept it up. Eventually, a caller claiming they at one point worked for NASA called and answered every question the co-host had. When the NASA worker explained that there were in fact other visits to the moon, both hosts were shocked, not just the moon landing denier. Hey, don't be coming around with solid facts like that next you'll rain on the flat earthers who go on cruises around the world. My only argument when people claim it's faked is if it was fake the USSR, USA's mortal enemy and space race competitor at the time, would have blown the whistle and exposed it to the world. You've reminded me of a former colleague I had a lot of respect for. Until they disclosed they think the singular moon landing was faked. I was trying to accept that, but then they added they also don't believe in dinosaurs. The other four were real, they just faked the first one s. People who think the moon landing was faked probably don't know how to bounce a laser off of one of the mirrors we left behind. I can't either, I'm just saying those dorks don't even know about the lasers. Well, once they built the sets, figured they might just as well use them a few more times. Moon landing was indeed fake. We've never put a man on Ganymede. I love those people. The space program went for over a decade, cost 5B, involved 5,000 companies, 250,000 people. And every country on Earth was watching like a hawk. But yeah, there's a shadow you don't understand, so of course the whole thing was faked. I always thought it was risky to fake six moon landings and still get away with it lol. Can't prove it wasn't faked. The three people involved are all dead now. It was faked but NASA hired James Cameron to direct and he insisted that they film on location. I just say that the Soviets accepted that we landed on the moon and they had every single reason not to. The only reason they did is because we did. They also don't mention the fact that we as humanity went to the moon a few times before landing on it. Apollo 8 went to the moon, orbited it 10 times and came back. First use of the Saturn V rocket. Apollo 9 tested the lunar module for the first time. Apollo 10 was the dress rehearsal for the official moon landing. Apollo 11 36 were real, but they faked the rest. I see your fake moon landing and raise you that they faked the moon. And the landing site has been imaged and everything they left is there, and they left laser reflectors their scientists on Earth could use to make measurements, and receivers in multiple countries picked up their signals, and Dan Detk. What's this we going to the moon five more times coming from? I've never been. I'm not a moon landing denier, but I do get the logic behind thinking only the initial moon landing was faked. It's not outside the realm of possibility that the US would rather fake a moon landing than lose the space race to the USSR, even if they were only months behind being able to accomplish it for real. Being first was everything, nobody gives a fuck who got there second. That being said I 100 believe the moon landing was real, but it's one of the more possible conspiracy theories. I put it up there with the CIA having a hand in assassinating JFK. Because to extreme conspiracy theorists it is not about the truth or facts, it's about emotion. They feel like they should be smart, but no they're not. So they discover something that the vast majority of people don't believe. And convince themselves that they're smarter than all the people who laugh at them. And they're literally too stupid to realize that people around or above average intelligence easily recognize that they're wrong. I only like this theory because they say it was filmed by Kubrick. But yet complete nonsense. I've heard both camps of we faked them all and we only faked the first one. The later is interesting they admit traveling to the moon is possible, but the US had motivation to beat the Russian so faked one before we were ready to send rail mission up makes it harder to argue against than the people who just think it's not possible. They spent all that money building the set, you might as well shoot a whole season of episodes. 
People who think the moon landing is fake can only remember about three things at a time. The biggest evidence against it is that the Soviets actually watched it happen in real time via telescopes. I am always surprised that the Russians didn't fake the moon landing first. First into space first to the moon. But they slept on it too long and WE faked it first suckers. Stanley Kubrick died in 1999. How many moon landings since 1999? The Apollo astronauts installed reflectors on the moon for accurately measuring the distance from Earth with lasers. Anyone who wanted to could use them. Even the Soviets. Some people are just morons. I'm pretty sure a sizable number of them aren't even aware of it. Having talked to a few, they are simply unaware there was more than Neil Armstrong and Apollo 11. Which just gives you an idea how phenomenally ignorant these people are. I don't expect everyone to know that we went to the moon several times bringing far more advanced photographic equipment, buggies, all manner of other experiments, and plenty of footage to put an end to the whole denier BS, but I do expect them to not spout off like experts on the subject, until they at least have the most basic facts right. Apparently that is too much to ask. Some people say the moon landings were faked by Stanley Kubrick, but he was a perfectionist who had to film on location. I've heard they don't believe the first time but do the later times. Yes, because what's disputed is if the US actually made it there when they said they did, not that we have never reached the moon. Stanley has made some good movies indeed. You simply can't negotiate with stupid. Just ignore them regardless of how hard it is. Depends who you're talking to. Some of them are saying that it isn't impossible to reach the moon, but contend that we didn't do it that first time with the technology available at the time. The whole US vs Russia space race and desperation led the US government to fake the landing rather than capitulate to another country. So that isn't a logical inconsistency. Faking something to own the Russian seems much more likely than faking it because you want to flex in general. I know a guy who specifically believes only the first moon landing was faked. He reckons the Americans were struggling and worried that the Soviets would beat them to the punch, so they faked Apollo 11 to guarantee the win, then Apollo 12 was the real deal. Have they filmed another one since? Anyone I ever encounter that holds the view that America never landed on the moon I hold in amused contempt. Because really anyone walking around spouting off these ridiculous ideas faked moon landings, flat earth, Trump election win has to be the most bland and uninteresting person imaginable. Why else would they choose to believe something so provably false? I honestly think it's far worse if we actually did go to the moon. Come on man, 50 years later after six successful moon missions, and we just stopped. Why? Thinking about it bums me out. If we've already, actually sent human there so many times easy peasy in the past, when our technology and all know how are much more outdated, unsafe, and lacking than present day how come currently it's such an undertaking task, for any nation for that matter, not just US or Russia, to send human there? Either we somehow regress technologically or something doesn't add up. I'm actually open to the theory the first landing might have been faked or at least the footage of it. An issue some of those people may have is it being faked initially to win the space race, as it were despite the USA losing on every other metric to give them a little more time to actually achieve it. We went five more times? And how many more actual landings? Asking for a friend. It's called fake it till you make it. Without using Google 99.9 of .9 people would not be able to name one person who claimed to have walked on the moon other than the first hoax. Because nobody cared. There was no worldwide transmission of millions glued to the TV. They were all faked. Remember when that magician made the Statue of Liberty disappear? Well he did 1,500 shows after that, not that anyone cared or remembers either. But you know, there's some people who believe that was real also.